live local now. Clark County School Police seizing more than a dozen guns, some loaded. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm David Charns. And I'm Denise Valdez. That's according to data 8 News Now just obtained from the district. Now, this revelation comes at a time where Clark County schools are considering introducing metal detectors when school returns in August. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Pagaro here to show us what he found out. Joshua. David, Denise, it took us four months to get this data. Here we have the total number of guns school police seized during the 2021-2022 school year. Some were on campus, others were not. Out of the 60 guns, 20 had a magazine or were loaded. But for school police, either one is taken seriously. We treat every firearm as being real and as being loaded. And we, we look at that situation where somebody could potentially lose their life. And that's the last thing that we want, especially if the school is a place where everyone should be safe. CCSD PD Detective Matthew Caldwell stresses that parents need to secure their weapons. At least five of the guns school police confiscated were armed. One handgun seized last March had one round in the chamber, plus 14 rounds in a magazine. And you think about um, how do you stop things from happening? You're not always going to get a phone call or, or a tip that somebody might have a weapon. Um, you need proactive policing as well. Some of the proactive measures include the Clark County School District announcing it's planning to add metal detectors at some high schools. Most of the firearms seized were handguns. Pastor Troy Martinez is the founder of Dads in Schools. Some of our volunteers have been on campus when large groups uh, get agitated, uh, ready to fight. But because our volunteers are right in the middle, the fight never takes place. It's a program that places volunteers at schools across the valley. Martinez says he's looking to place at least two volunteers at each school. He adds that keeping kids and staff safe must be a community-run effort. I know for a fact that young people bring a gun to school because they're afraid. And if we reduce the fear, we'll reduce guns at schools. Now, as you can see with this data, three ghost guns were confiscated by CCSDPD. These are guns that don't have a serial number and are harder to track. Again, out of the 60 guns police recovered, at least five were loaded. Denise? 